Look how dry everything is. Look at that. I know. It's incredible. There hasn't been any rain for ages, has there? And the temperature for uh, middle of winter. Yeah, 6th of January. Look at you in your shirt. Mm -hmm. Best. <laughs> Not surprising they have a lot of fires around here. Mm. These forest fires. Yeah, I noticed on the way in, the signpost into the park had a big... Uh, a big what diagram saying no no fire no flames yeah well yeah. you can imagine it's uh, absolutely bone dry well not quite bone dry but well this stuff would uh, catch fire easily yeah yeah it's been a big problem hasn't it here in spain recently over the past few years well yeah all, all south europe in fact, true in fact and now right now in australia as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. and uh some of these uh, fires they have, they're not even, they're not natural, are they? Some, no. of, some of them actually, uh, people do them on, on purpose because uh, sometimes, for example, they find that the fire has started simultaneously in several different places. Yes, which yes. Is too much yeah. of a coincidence. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's quite amazing that they can do that, isn't it? Actually locate the yeah. area mm -hmm. and the cause of the fire mm -hmm. after the fact. But yeah, some of those fires where they, they've established that it's been started in several different places at the same time. Obviously points to it happening deliberately. Yeah, we need a, a group of people working together to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I heard the case of this uh, one fellow who started a fire, I think it was in the Canary Islands, on purpose. And the reason, what it, uh, reason was that he was a, um, he worked for the fire services uh -huh. and uh, he'd uh, He'd been laid off because there wasn't the work, uh, so he yeah, wanted yeah, to get yeah. more work. So he started the fire so that it would get more work. Yeah, again. I heard that story too. I mean, it's yeah. mad. Absolutely, yes. yeah. And so costly. Mm. Yeah, such, such a shame. But um, it seems that the last few years have been worse than normal. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just an, an impression. Maybe there's more coverage of it. Maybe because there are more fires throughout the whole of Europe. We're hearing more about mm -hmm. it than we would do normally, if you get what I mean. Well, that one in Australia, in Tasmania. It's happening now, in it's fact. Now, yeah, because it's summer down there now. Yeah. And uh, it's it's very big. A lot of people have um, retreated to the beaches, mm -hmm. and they're standing in the water so as to escape the flames. Oh, right, there was a story last night about people who'd been in the water for seven hours. Really? So that the, the fire actually went up to the water's edge. Yeah. So they, they stayed in long. the sea for seven hours, yeah. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. And then they, was, they were rescuing them by boat, was that? Was oh, I don't know. I didn't hear anything about that. I think some of Imagine them were being so. rescued by boat as well. And that's, so, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, really surprising when the people get trapped that way. You'd think they'd be able to drive out sooner than that, but I guess it's just moving so fast. Well, yes, if it's windy and... The the earth's really dry and yeah. there's a lot of dry wood around it's going to spread very quickly isn't it and that's what happens here too yeah as we've had less rain the one the a years. couple of years ago when uh, there was it was turned out to have been started by some folks having a barbecue oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, they hadn't put it out properly yeah I think. and some wind had blown and some mm, embers mm, mm. and that was a really big one wasn't yeah, it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. oh well